Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can create an e-commerce website with the Hostinger website builder. I will be walking you through every step of the process from signing up to Hostinger and choosing the right plan, choosing the right theme for your store and that can be using the pre-built templates on Hostinger or you can even use AI to build the website out for you. I will then be showing you how you can use the Hostinger drag and drop builder, how you can add products to your e-commerce store, set up payment providers, set up the correct shipping information and everything else that you need to know. So even if you have never built a website before, all you have to do is follow along with this tutorial and you will walk away with a beautiful and professional e-commerce website. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is actually sign up to Hostinger and make sure that you are on the right plan that allows you to create an e-commerce store. Now I will leave my referral link in the description of this video and if you sign up to Hostinger using that link, it's going to take you over to this page where you can get up to 67% off your hosting, which makes Hostinger even more cost effective. So if we just go down to claim deal right here, these are the three different plans that we have. Now from these, we can use both the plus and the pro plan. We can't use the light plan as this doesn't have e-commerce functionality. But with these other two, these are going to allow us to create an e-commerce store. Essentially, the only difference between these two plans is the amount of products that we can sell. With the plus plan, we can sell up to 300 products. And with the pro plan, we can sell up to 600. Both of these are going to have no transaction fees. We can connect all the payment methods that we need to. And with the pro, we get an AI product generator and an AI product image background remover. Aside from that though, all of the other features are pretty much identical. The only difference between these is this 100 to 200 gigabytes of storage. But when we are creating an e-commerce website, 100 gigabytes of storage is going to be more than enough. So for most people, this is the plan that we want to go for here, this plus plan. And if you don't know the way that the hosting of pricing works, essentially the only one that you really want to avoid when we are choosing the billing period right here is going to be the monthly pricing because look at the price difference right here. It jumps up to $14 per month plus a $5 setup fee and we also don't get a free domain included. With any of these other options, if we go to 12 months for example, as we can see, we get the major price drop right here. We get the free domain included and we pay this upfront so we can get our website hosted and online for an entire year for just $83. What I would say though, is if you know you will have your website for a longer period of time, like two to four years, it is going to be more cost effective for going with one of these options because we are able to lock in this discounted pricing for two years in this example, before we go back to the monthly pricing when this two years is up. So once we have chosen how long we would like the website for, we just click right here on continue. It will then ask you to create your Hostinger account. I don't need to because I already have one, but it will basically ask you for your email and then to create a password. From there, all we then have to do is enter in our billing information, click on continue, choose the payment method that we would like to use and enter this in. And then once that is entered, we just click right here on submit payment. Hostinger will then ask us a few different questions. So I I will go through these with you now. Uh, the first is who is this website for? This question is kind of irrelevant. It really doesn't make a difference to the setup. So I usually just go ahead and skip this. It will then ask if we want to create or migrate a website. Now website migration is if you have already built your website on another platform and you want to move this over to Hostinger. Of course, that is not what we will be doing. So right here, we want to click on I'll create a website. We can then choose if we want to build our website with WordPress or the Hostinger website builder. For this e-commerce website, we are of course going to go with Hostinger. So we can select that right here. And in this next section, this is now where we can choose our domain name. So in here, you just want to go ahead and enter the domain name that you would like for your website. One tip I will give you here is make sure this is a .com domain. This is so important for an online e-commerce store because this is by far the most trustworthy domain. So if you enter in your website address and the .com domain is taken, I would add something like store at the end of it, or maybe even do an entire rebrand to get that .com domain. That is how important this is. But then once you have claimed your domain, the final step right here is just to enter in your country and some final contact details. And then from here, the registration process with Hostinger is now complete. So once that registration process is complete, Hostinger is going to take us over to this page. And this is now where we can choose the website template. 
we have two different options here. We can either use AI to create the website for us, where we enter in a description and it gets AI to create this. Or alternatively, we can go for one of these pre-made templates. For an e-commerce store, I would highly recommend sticking with one of these e-commerce templates that are provided by Hostinger because it's just a much cleaner design. You are able to get a much better and more professional website out of this. And all of these are extremely customizable. So even with this one right here, this is homemade ceramics, but you can turn this into any kind of store that you like just by changing the images, adding different text. The layout is just going to be much better than it could be with the AI website builder right here. But I will still show you how both of these work. So for this AI website builder, I'm going to create an e-commerce website for my blue light blocking glasses. So I just enter a simple prompt into here. Then we can click on create a website and the AI is now going to get to work in building that website for me. So just like that, the AI has now finished building this website and I now have a website for my blue light blocking glasses. As I say though, even if we are building a store for blue light blocking glasses, I do think it is a better idea to go for one of the pre-built templates because they just look much, much better. So instead of using AI, we can click into the pre-made templates go to e-commerce right here and as i said there are a bunch whether you want to create a one product website whether you want to create more of a niche website there are just so many different awesome templates that we can choose so for example let's choose one of these right here and this is now going to load in and once we have selected the template that we are going to use we can now talk about how to actually edit this website using the hostinger editor so with this, this is really awesome because this is all drag and drop. So anything on the website that we want to move around, we can just click and drag this. To change the text, we just click in right here and then we can change the text to say what we want it to say. With these buttons, we can just click into each of these buttons, click on edit, and we can change what the text says. We can choose where this is going to link to on the website. So if we want to link it over to a certain page or a certain product, we can choose that right here. For the images, like for the image on this section, all we have to do is click on edit section right here, and then we can change the image that is on the background of this. So we can click into replace, upload our own files, and that's how we can change the images. You can also delete elements that you don't like. Uh, if you make a mistake at any point, we can click on this back arrow, and bring the change that we just made back. We can also add new elements to the website by using this plus icon on the left hand side. And then we can drag whatever we would like onto this website. So if we want to add more text, we can just drag this in here, change what the text is going to say. And then using this bar above, we can go ahead and change like the color, the font, anything that we want to just like that. So using this, you can now go down and essentially start building out this homepage of your website. Uh, one thing I will add here is you can add in new sections just by going to this point between two different sections and you can choose a new section you would like to add in. Or alternatively, if you would like to delete a section, we can click on delete and we can delete that section. So those are the basics on how you can actually customize and edit the homepage of your website. And this really goes for any other pages that you want to click into. You customize these in the exact same way. So those are the basics of the website builder, but to have an e-commerce website, we now need to add in our own products. So the way that we do this is we just go over to this shopping icon on the left-hand side to manage store. And in here, we can see all of the different store options that we have. So in here, we can see all of our store orders. We can add in different products. If we want to book appointments, we can do this right here. We can add discounts and create different categories. So to add the products, we can click into the product section right here. And then we can see we have all of these default products that are added with the store. So if you want to delete these, we just click on this icon right here, and then we can delete them. And to add in new products, we simply click on add product. We choose what type of product this is, whether this is a digital product, a physical product, an appointment, a service. I'm just going to go for physical products right here. And in this section, this is where we can go ahead and create the product. So we can upload the product images right here. We can choose a title. We can add a description to the product. Going down, we can then choose the pricing. 
we can add a stock keeping unit. So this is just on the back end. This helps you keep track of inventory. So you want to start this off with 001 and then move up for every product that you add. So the next one will be 002, 003 and so on and so forth. We can then go down and in here we can add in different options. So for example, let's say I am selling a t-shirt and I want to add different uh, sizes and different colors. We can go in here and add in these different options. So we can add in, for example, size. We can go small, medium and large. Click on save right here. We can then add another option and we could say that this is going to be color. So we could say white, black and beige and add that. And that is how we can add different product variants into here. So once this is all created, we just go ahead and click on save. And that is how we can add new products to the store. So once we have these products added to the store, another thing that you might want to do is categorize these and add these as different categories. As we can see right here with these default options, we have vases and we also have flower pots. So to create these different categories, we can go over to the category section right here. And we can add and create these different categories. So for this first one, I'm going to type in vars and design products. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add all the different vases into this collection and click on save. And then we can save this and add this collection. We can then go up and let's also add flower pots and we can assign these. And just like this, we can now select all of the flower pots save these and we now have our product categories created so now we can go back to the store another category that you might want to add is best sellers this is a fantastic example but just to show you what we could now do with these i can now go in and for this one we could say shop vases i don't even know if that's correct terminology but hey ho then we can go in and we can edit this section and set the filters to just show the vase that we have right? And then maybe we even want to duplicate these two sections right here and we can drop these underneath just like this. And then in here, we can go shop flower pots. And then once again, we will click into here. We can go ahead and edit this section. And for this in the filters, I'm only going to show the flower pots, which are now going to show right here. So now that we have this set up, the awesome thing about hosting up is the fact that they already create the product pages for us. So if I click into this one, for example, we can see it has the title, it has the description that we entered earlier when we are creating the product, and it also has the product image. So now people can go through, they can add this to the bag, and they can go ahead and check out. And there is not really much that we need to add to this product page. However, if we would like to, we can go down and add in different sections. Like we might want to add in customer testimonials for this specific product. We might want to go ahead and add like a gallery or a slideshow or even a video demonstrating this product. The possibilities on this are pretty much endless, but that is just some things that you can add to the product page if you want to take it to that next level. Now, something else that is very important when it comes to setting up an e-commerce website is of course going to be connecting payment providers so that we can actually make money and we can make sales. So the way that we do this is once again, we want to go over to this left hand side and in this shopping area, we go right down here to settings. So we can click into this and then once this loads up over on this left hand side, we just want to go down to payments right here. And these are all of the payment providers that we can set up. So the main two that you are going to need is Stripe because Stripe is going to allow you to accept all of these main payment methods. And then it's also worth connecting PayPal as well so that if somebody wants to pay with PayPal, they can just do it through your store. So very easy to set these up. All we need to do is click on connect and then you can go through and create and connect a Stripe account. Same with PayPal, you just click on connect right here, log into your PayPal account, connect it up, and they give you step-by-step -step instructions. This is very, very easy to do. Whilst we are in this area, we need to finish up setting up the backend settings. So another very important thing to do is go in here and set the shipping rates. So in here, we can create different shipping rates. For example, because I'm in the UK, it's going to be a little bit cheaper for me to ship things to the UK. So we can create and add in different shipping zones. So in here for the UK, I can click in and let's just change this to UK shipping. So this is shipping to the UK. I can see the regular shipping is going to be free, but I might want to go in here and I want to add premium shipping. And this is one to two days. And then in here, we might price this at 4 
And then we can add that shipping rate in right there. So we can then go ahead and save this. We can go back to the shipping settings. And the next one that I might want to add is EU. So in here, we can title this EU shipping. Go down and select all of the EU countries. So I'm not going to actually add all of these. You get the idea, but I would basically go down and add in all of the different EU countries. And then once again, we can go ahead and save this and add in these different options. So for regular, I might be charging $4.99 for the shipping. Then we can add another option and we can go premium and we can maybe add this at $8.99. And there we go. That is how you can set up the shipping on your store. The final thing that we would need to do is just go into the company information right here enter in your company name and logo, add in your contact information where you will be shipping this from or just somewhere where people can contact you, enter that in there and make sure this is saved. And just like that, that is how you can set up and create your e-commerce website. So all we now need to do once this store is created is simply go up and click go live right here. And this will put your website live and on the internet. So we can now go through, click on view site right here. We can go into shop now, check this out and just test that the website is actually working and we can add things to the bag. And just like that, that is how you can create an e-commerce website with the Hostinger website builder. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.